All right, I'm going to show you guys how to use JSON in Objective-C for your iOS or Mac OS X applications. Uh, to do this, instead of just showing you the framework and this is how you do this, this is how you do that, um, we're going to make a short a URL shortener for the command line. So um, first, let's grab the library real quick. So it's here at GitHub, it's touch code, touch JSON, and we'll just grab this git URL and clone it to our desktop where you can download the zip or whatever you want. But this is the JSON framework we're going to be using for um, Objective-C. So git clone, and we're going to download that, and I'll show you this URL shortener. So. I already built it in Python and we're just going to rewrite it in Objective-C. So uh, in the command line I can type in URL short and then type in a URL here and hit enter. And this uses the Google APIs and goes out and uh, shortens this URL. And so if we go here we can see our URL, our short URL is valid for what we typed in. So this is what we're going to make. So here's the code in Python. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a command line argument from the command line. We have this URL which is the Google API. We have to format a JSON document with the command line argument we get. And we have to make a URL request to this Google API with the JSON uh, document we made and then the data we get back is JSON from Google so we will have to convert that into a uh, NS dictionary in Objective-C and get the ID out of it and then we'll just echo it out into the uh, command line so we'll keep this up for uh, for reference if we need it but I'm gonna cat this real quick and copy this URL because we're gonna start with that so now that we have our touch JSON framework downloaded, let's start up Xcode here and Command Shift N to start a new project. And under Mac OS X, we want application and then command line tool. And we're just going to call this URL SHRT for short. And of type, we want foundation. So let's hit next. And we're just going to throw this on our desktop here. So let me maximize this and we'll hit the .in file. Okay, so this is pretty big text so you should be able to see it well. So let's first start out with our NS URL and we're just going to call this Google API and that will be equal to NS URL and then URL with string and we're going to paste in this Google API's URL for the URL shortener. So now we need to get the command line argument out. So this will return an NS array, and we'll just call this args, and that will be equal to NS process info, process info, and then arguments, which is type NS array. So now that we have that, we need to first create a NS dictionary and format it. So in this dictionary and we'll just call this uh, long URL dict and that will be equal to in this dictionary alloc and then init with objects and keys. And now just remember this is object and then key, not key then object. So it's kind of backwards from what you may be used to. But we need our long URL out of our args here. So we want args and then object at index and index is one. Now a comma and now we need the key. And if we refer to our um, Python code here, our key is long URL with a capital U. So long URL. And then nil closes it off and then our in here. Alright, so now we need to encode this dictionary into a um, 
JSON string. So we'll go to our URL shortener here and we want to add files to URL short and on our desktop touch JSON and then this source folder and we're just going to copy the whole folder in make sure this copy uh, checkbox is selected and hit add. So now that we have that um, we need to uh, encode this into a JSON string. So we'll say ns string and then this will be our um, request um, JSON and that will be equal to and this will be ns string allocate and then we want init with data and this is because uh, this um, touch JSON serializer returns NS data so you can see it returns NS data here so before we go any farther on this we need to import those so up here import C JSON deserializer and then import cjson serializer okay so now that we have that we need to call cjson serializer and then serializer and then we want to serialize object and this is where we pass in our long URL dict and then for error we'll just pass in nil Okay, and the second part of this ns string init with data is what type of encoding, and this will be ns uh, utf8 string encoding. So we'll close that off, and now we should have a, a string here with it with this dictionary encoded in JSON. So now that we have that, we need to start making our URL request, and to do this, we need a ms ns mutable um, URL request because we'll be adding the header and um, body to it and so this will be equal to or we'll call this request and it will be equal to alloc, alloc and then we want init with URL and the URL is our Google API URL that we uh, declared up here so now that we have that, we need to start setting the values for this request. So say request and then set HTTP method and this takes a string and this will be a post request. Uh, the second part is request and we want to set value and this will be um, for HTTP, HTTP header field and this value here will be application slash JSON and the field is content type. We'll close that and we know that because if we look at our Python code here uh, we can see we're setting a header content type and application JSON. So now after that we need one more request value and it will be set HTTP body and this takes an NS data so we really could have just did it there but uh, if you have some type of JSON string anywhere this is how you convert a string back into data so we did an unnecessary step here but uh, in case you have JSON string this is how you convert it back so we need our bracket and then whatever string um, you have so we're calling it request JSON and then we need to uh, say data using encoding and then it's just NF UTF-8 string encoding NS UTF-8 string encoding so two brackets and that's how we converted the string back into NS data so now that we have that we can finally 
uh, make our request to the Google API. So we need an NS error here, and we'll just call this ERR, and that will be equal to nil initially, and you have to do that, or this next step we're going to do will, uh, or the if statement after this next step will give us some issues. So the data that we get back from a NS URL connection is NS data, and we'll just call this response and that will be equal to uh, ns url connection and then send synchronous request and this takes the ns url request and that's what we already have here called request our returning response will be equal to nil and then our error we need the and sign or ampersand err for our error object that we just declared. So this will give us data back, or if we aired out, we need to check for that. So we'll say if error not equal to nil, that means there is an issue, we will want to print out this to the uh, command line. So we'll just say error and then at sign and then the and at, or the modular sign or division sign, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. And then the at sign, which means an object, which could be string. And we'll just say error and then localized description. And then that will print out the error description for us. And then we just want to return a one that will kick us out. So if we didn't have an error, we can. Um, convert this NS data back into a um, NS dictionary. So NS dictionary equals um, output and that will be equal to uh, CJSON deserializer and then deserializer and then we want to deserialize as dictionary and it takes a NS data object and that's what we got back in our response and our error we're just going to pass nil here and so now we should have this dictionary let me add some signs here all right so now we have this dictionary and it should have an ID object if it was successful so we can say um, oh actually yeah, we'll get a response back. So we can say NS log and then um, your short URL is and then our object and then we want our output dict and then object for key and ID. Okay, so that should print it out for us. And uh, we should be good to go. So let's uh, command B to build this. Build succeeded. So now if we go into our desktop URL short, uh, the, we'll need to, all right, index code, our products, we can see our URL short application here. Hit show in finder and we'll just drag this out or copy it hold down option when you do this um, replace that whatever all right so in our desktop here what's this freaking out for Close. And I did something stupid, but we have our file here. So we can say dot bash URL short, and then we type in our URL. So type that in, hit enter, and then your URL, your short URL is this. So we can copy that. Let's paste it into here and we can see it works so uh, 
Oh, I know what I did. The file name was the same name as our project folder, so it just deleted everything. So don't do that. Um, and you'll freak out, but it's done. Um, I'll post the code or whatever if I can get it back. So uh, that's how you do that, and that's how you use JSON in Objective.